righty, we are back with Fight Night Champion using uh, David Hay facing Muhammad Ali. Let's get it. Jeez Louise. <laughs> oh my God, it's going to be one of those fights, man. It's going to be one of those fights. These guys, man, they pick they pick Muhammad Ali and just go to work, bro. They just rip. Dude, do you see how long Ali's arms are? I mean, it's just it's just woof woof woof. Just smacks you like. The speed at which he can throw those multiple jabs. Yo, it is. <laughs> These heavyweights are so freaking fast, bro. That is. It's, it takes some getting used to, bro. I'm telling you, it, the speed at which they can move, it does take some getting used to. Do you see how many jabs he just threw in the span of like a second? Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> you want to fuck? Oh, God. Dude. Yikes. Yikes. And I'm just trying to, like, find an angle. I'm just trying to find an, a spot to throw something. He would have already been KO'd if this was, you know. Man. This is why I'm enjoying fight uh, playing Fight Night Champion online right now. It's because you, you're not gonna get this playing offline, honestly speaking. You're not gonna you're not gonna see how far players can push this game. Because like the AI is not gonna fight you like this. They will occasionally start throwing some crazy shit at you, but it's never gonna be this way. And this just takes some getting used to, man. Right now, I'm gonna try to see if I can stab his body. Um, Cause like, at this point, I'm not even looking to win on the scorecards. Like, I'm just gonna try to see if I can stop him in the later rounds. Cause there's no way he can keep this up. I mean, this is, that's a lot of work he's doing. And barely. Landing super clean. It's a lot of freaking work. Yeah, I'm just gonna just work his body. Work his body and just try to get him tired. And hopefully get him out of there later. There we go. I love combos like that. Yes, yes. Yes. Just like that. Just like that. There you go. I'm gonna start landing that. So try to see if I can start landing that right hook a little bit. Oh, that was a nice one-two right there on the pipe. Keep going, keep moving, keep jabbing, keep jabbing. Bro, how are you able to throw these many shots and I and not get rocked? Man, and now my stamina is going down. I need to. Doesn't this dude look like R. Kelly? Doesn't this dude look pretty much like R. Kelly? Am I the only one that thinks this this man looks like R. Kelly? I like his animations. Um, his jab is his jab is pretty much. I believe it's the same jab as the Muhammad Ali animation. Let's take a look at it again. It's 
the same exact jab as Muhammad Ali, but then his cross is uh his his straight punch is Manny Pacquiao straight punch. Bro. Bro. Damn. I'm going to try to be careful this round. I see him trying to hit me with uppercuts now, but... I like how EA Sports definitely wanted you to make sure that you knew this game belonged to him. You guys see the EA Sports all over the place? EA logo all over the arena. Look at that. That giant EA Sports over there. And then like in the ring, all, all over the place. EA Sports. EA Sports. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. Tee off, tee off. Nice. You guys see that uppercut I just hit him with? Just did nothing. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there are a lot of things that a video game needs. A lot of things that, like, when you first hear about it, like, it sounds like... All right, so I won only one round. Uh, okay. Second round. Lost the last round. Okay. There are a few things a video game needs, man. It's like, even a game like this that's supposed to represent real life. And, and when you... When you uh, examine how real life striking actually works, you realize that a lot of things that actually makes a video game, a combat, hand-to-hand -hand style video game work, a lot of things that makes it work actually exist in real life. One of them is the, uh, the idea of, of a hit stun. Um, the idea of a hit stun, um, figuring out exactly who can act first after an action happens. So like, you know, if I hit you with a jab, like the jab is even if even if if the jab hits your block and if the jab lands clean, the hit stun is going to be different, right? There's generally a larger hit stun if you get hit clean. In other words, if you get hit, a lot of times you won't be able to act as in you won't be able to hit me if I keep hitting you. You're going to have to get hit, block, move out before you can then continue your attack. Being able to figure out these things, it's what happens in real life. Like if I lunge in and I hit you with a jab to the face, right? The next action you can perform is, hold on. If I lunge in and, and hit you in the face with a jab, usually the next action you can perform is either you can move your head or you can, you can lunge away, you can move your feet, or you can block. But you, very rarely, um, if I stab you in the face with a jab, are you able to... Im oh, gosh. What? <sighs> it's talking too much. I'm trying to explain. Hold on. Yeah, good shit, bro. But, uh... You're not dropping me again, man. There's, I'm not gonna let that happen. Anyways, what I was saying, um... There's a hit stun that happens. You get hit, the hit causes a hit reaction. Let's say your head gets knocked back. Your eye rolls back in your head. You need a moment to gather yourself. So usually you can move your head right away. You can bring your hand back up and block. You can maybe lunge, you can move your feet. But throwing back, there's usually a small delay before you can start throwing back against your opponent, right? And that, adding that, that hit stun makes the game that you're playing feel cleaner because um and there's also hit stun on block like if you take a head a head kick for example like if i kick you in the head and you block it right that head kick stuns you a little bit and I'm, i don't i don't mean stun as in like you're rocked i mean the impact to your body to the human body you, you there's, there's a shock and that shock that you absorb the strike you absorb 
it sends waves around your body that lasts a little bit before you can then start acting again. Um, and you need that in the game. Of course, the bigger the, sh the bigger the strike, the bigger the hit stun, right? So like an overhand is gonna have a longer hit stun than a jab, right? Like I like I like this, I like this, I like this right hook. I'm landing right here. You know, a cross is gonna have a longer hit stun than a jab. Uh, you know, a right hook will have a longer hit stun than a left hook. So and so. I think it's very important to have to have these things in the game so that because like uh, many times like I'll land clean and it, see like right here like that's what causes this rock'em sock'em feel in a fight or in a in a game where it's like it, it where it just feels messy you know what I mean. See, like right there, I just hit him with a with a with a clean, with a clean right hook. Like, see, see, see that right there, clean right hook, and and see, see that clean right hook, but he's still he's he's still throwing across. See that he's still throwing across. It's it, that's that's just no way. You know what I mean? There's no way if that if that sequence were to happen in real life, and I go jab right hook. The right hook was going to affect Ali in a way that he's going to have to pause a little bit. Move before he can then get back to throwing. As opposed to just voo, 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 voo. You get hit with a clean right hook and it, it does nothing to your face. And it's like you need, you need these things. Who can go first after this happens? Okay. And what, what about this? Who can go first after this happens? This is stuff that that you find in video games like, like Mortal Kombat, in video games like uh, like Street Fighter, but it also makes your realistic sim game play out realistically as well. It genuinely does. This is why, like, I don't believe in, I don't believe in, uh, just what's the word I'm looking for. Like, there are a lot of things in arcade games that also you can bring into your sim game. Because when you look at it, it matches up with what happens in real life. It really does. And I'm, I'm saying this from experience, man. Like, I'm talking as somebody that has striking experience. I'm not just talking out of my ass. Okay. Alright, he's ducking down and... I just don't understand how this man is not tired yet. You know what I mean? Like, he must have thrown a thousand shots at this point. Like, how is he not tired at this point? Like, I'm looking at him. It doesn't even look like he's breathing heavy yet. Oh, my God. Can I please get a rock? Is David, hey, does he not have power or something? I mean, these are some sh clean power shots I'm hitting him with. Good. All right. I don't know, man. I need to see the, the scorecards for me to relax because he just sat me down in the other round. And if he is winning, if he is winning all of these rounds right now, we might have to get get desperate. But I think I'm okay. Ah, that was clean. Come on, get Just relax, relax, relax. Nice. Dude, I, do you see how much blood is on his uh, his shorts right now, dude? I mean, we're both bleeding, that's for sure. But I think I cut him more. 
Which makes sense because we are just, I mean, we are, we are just losing our minds with these shots. Come on, man. Come on, there you go. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. Yes, yes, just like that. <laughs> Yes, yes. I must do it. I mean, his body has to be badly hurting right now, dude. His body has to be badly hurting. Like, I think I've done a lot of freaking damage to this man's body, and I need to start seeing some effects. You know, this this actually has me curious. Like, if if it's this difficult to counter and... Oh, boy. Look at that. Look at that. I was saying, if, if, if it's this difficult to, like, counter and, and do damage, I wonder how this game plays online in the lower weight classes where they have even less power. <laughs> come on. Come on, buddy. You want to you wanna stand with your back against the ring? I don't mind if you want to do that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, that was some. Oh, that, those were nice sequences, bro. I'm sorry, but those were some nice fucking sequences, dude. A boom, stab to the face, stab to the head, stab to the body, and we sit him down. Mom, buddy. Oh, come on, man. This is getting bad for you, bro. It's getting bad for you. Um, some of you were asking as well. Okay, I think I'm just gonna stand here. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Come on, sir. Come on. Come on. Yeah, look at that. Do you see that little stumble he just did? Yeah, that tells me everything I need to know. That boy is ready to be gone, ladies and gentlemen. He is ready to be stopped. But yeah, some of you were asking me if I use the, the sticks or if I use the buttons. I, I use both. I use both. Um, usually, like, if I'm throwing, like, a jab straight, I use the buttons. If I want to throw an uppercut, I use the stick just because it's easier. I mean, the, the uppercut control is the exact same uppercut control as UFC 4 um, so I could easily do that but I find I'm more comfortable using the sticks when I'm um, using when I'm throwing uppercuts um, occasionally if I want to just like if I want to let like a fast combination rip I could I use the sticks because the combos actually flow a lot better if you're using the sticks he's rocked it's okay we're not chasing nothing we're not chasing nothing Left hook. 
He's okay. Yes. Zuzu's just stabbing him. See if I can land a power shot. are about to get stopped man oh it's getting bad man Whoa, oh boy that's it dude look at this look at this sequence look at the way the cross goes on the oh man that's beautiful watch it again boom look at that that's gorgeous, man. Is this man going to be a Houdini and get back up? No, no, he's not even going to try. He is not even going to try. That's it, baby. That is it. <laughs> I got to say, man, I am really enjoying playing this game again, bro. Really enjoying You just got the friend high score for the most total fights for, I mean... It can't be easy for me to get the friend high score. I don't think there's anybody else on my friend list that's actually playing Fight Night Champion right now, especially on Xbox. So this is not surprising to me at all. Well, yeah. Exciting times. Very good. I definitely enjoy this match. Um, once again, if we take a look at the... Look at that. Scorecards. 76-74. He won the first, eh, you know, he got some some rounds in, but I was I was banking on stopping him anyways. I wasn't really looking to win this fight on the on the on the scorecards. No way. That that's not what I'm looking to do. Um if we take a look at the uh accuracy though, you notice that I mean, my I try to keep my accuracy higher than my opponent, but the body accuracy is typically where I uh where things are high. And round number one, it wasn't really working the body too much. Round number two goes up. Um, look at that. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. Always helps out the channel. And I will see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good one.